back to the channel. Today we got another episode of Cheapest on eBay and Amazon. Uh, today we're doing a topside creeper. So we're 10 minutes in and we already have a catastrophic failure. Uh, it's pretty funny, it's not a real big deal. This is it for instructions. Uh, it lists all the bolt numbers, then it gives you where everything goes. So we turn it over and that's what else we get. So as you can see on this one, there's supposed to be a hole in the bottom of each side. And then on the top, there's supposed to be two holes. Uh, that's for adjustability right in here. So again, hole in the bottom, two holes at least at the top. Here we have hole in the bottom, and we have one, two, three, four holes all right here. I'm kind of rambling on here. Uh, the real problem is there's holes here and there's no holes here. That's because they have this one flipped upside down. So whoever put this thing in the jig, pre-drilled, um, there it is sideways. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just measure all these holes right here and transfer them over to the other side as well as drill out that bottom so uh, our stand is going to have way more holes than it's supposed to have and it's going to be a lot more work to install but um, we're just going to roll with it it's already in the shop so we're going to make it work so it's probably two weeks later uh getting back on this uh this piece here i did message them they refunded me 20 bucks i'm more than happy with that uh it doesn't really matter because i'm going to use it anyway uh, so this side is the base. I need to drill this side out here. No brain, Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried, saying that I wasn't right, that I was right by your side. You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators, and I don't know what you say about our private conversations, but it's got them hating. Thanks to all the rumors you be claiming it's cool. I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration. You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better. I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me. So there you go. Uh, there are extra parts, like there's some uh, down pieces here that I don't know if they're supposed to sit on your fender or something. 
Uh, not a chance in hell I'm putting those on and scratching my trucks up. And then there's a bag. These are what those blocks look like. You bolt them on right here. And these are some sort of, you adjust them out for uh, support. I'm not gonna put them on. These will go in the scrap bin. And then a little pouch, uh, maybe to put bolts in and stuff. Goes right here. Again, I don't, I don't think I need that. Um, it's good enough quality, you could use it if you wanted, but uh, for the purpose I want this for, for the Bronco, for tuning carburetors, uh, working in the engine bay a lot, like tying up electrical and stuff, that's what this is for. And uh, we still need to test it, still need to see what it's like under the truck, but uh, just in the shop here, locking both feet. It's pretty good, pretty stable. Oh. Not bad. Thought I'd give you a full walk around first. So there are multiple settings. Um, to be frank, I don't know what the advantage would be to have it there. Um, maybe it's easier on your knees or something. I don't know. But I figure just uh, the third one, because that'll let you get the most reach, I think. And also it keeps it the most level. But uh, yeah, wheels aren't terrible. It's mostly just the uh, thinness of the metal and the hardware. You can see some of the metals crimped in pretty bad down there where I had to retighten bolts. But all in all, uh, this could be modified to be a lot better. So in its current form, there she is. So I thought this was a pretty cool feature. Uh, let me show you. The stand tucks up and away pretty darn good. See how well it folds up. So this is sticking out from the wall probably 12 to 16 inches, but all in all, folds up pretty good. So I ended up using it quite a bit on a Ford Ranger project. My buddy needed a new uh, muffler. We did spark plugs, a few other things. So we ended up lowering it just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to adjust it up. All set. So, pretty good height. Pretty comfortable work position. Uh, my feet, I know you can't see them, but they're planted pretty securely. Uh, my knees are not bent backwards. I'll just take this off, pretend to do a little bit of work here. So I don't know if you can tell, if you're one of my subscribers, I've had the big carburetor, the big intake. I've had all this stuff on here for a while. Uh, I took a video of it to make a YouTube video, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So, would I recommend this creeper? Uh, for 120, 130 bucks, I'd say yeah, it's worth your time having it in your shop. Uh, really, it's just an expensive step ladder. However, uh, if it's the difference of you getting something done in a night or taking two nights, uh, this can end up saving me a lot of time. So, I know I'm gonna spring for grabbing this before the step ladder. Uh, however, I also have one of those step platforms. I like it. I like the lift. Uh, I like the location. I like how far it tucks under the vehicle. Uh, I like using it. So I'm going to say all in all, it's a good product, uh, but it comes in really crappy packaging and really crappy quality. So expect that. Uh, but yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, follow along, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Uh, let me know what you think of the Creeper. Let me know if you think it's total crap. Uh, let me know how my editing is, how my video recording is. I'm, I'm hoping to grow the channel, so if you can give me any feedback, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.